after having set all the preferences in Photoshop, um, let's go through what the interface is about and what the workspace is about. And this is going to be a brief video just explaining what the workspace is. So first and foremost, um, what we are going to do is go into the window menu and look at workspace and we are going to come and reset essentials. So this is how Photoshop ships out. Once you, the, when you install Photoshop and you start up Photoshop, this is how Photoshop will appear by default. There are different workspaces available in here. Uh, so there's essential, uh, there's 3D, there's graphic and web, motion, painting, photography. Our objective is primarily photographic. So you may want to initially just simply choose photography as the primary workspace. So you will notice the interface over here, the workspace has changed slightly. Is this the ideal scenario? Or can we make it better? Eventually, the choice will be yours, whatever that may work for you. But before we get into that, let's first look at a few things. Here on the left-hand side is a toolbar, which by default is on the extreme left-hand side. And you have the ability to move it around by grabbing it from these small dotted lines that you see up here. So I can take it back and dock it to the left side. I can bring it out. I can click on these arrows and it becomes a two column. This is how it used to be at one point in time and you didn't really have the option of a thin and a narrow uh, toolbar. Now we do. So again, I can take it back and tack it up onto the left side and now notice it is in two columns. I can click on the arrow and then change it back to a single column. And these are all the tool sets. Within these tool sets, at any point in time, you see this tiny arrow with any one of the tool. It simply implies that there are a bunch of additional tools that are available within that tool. And to access those tools, you can keep it clicked and it shows other tools beneath that. So, so here, here, if I keep it clicked, I see two other tools. And I have customized my toolbar so you may not be seeing the same kind of tools that you would be seeing on your computer. So don't worry, we are gonna going, we are going to get into that at some point in time. So these are the additional hidden tools when you click on the arrow that are available to you within the toolbar. Now, at the top, this is what you see here is known as an options bar, okay? In the options bar, what it does is whatever tool that you select from the toolbar, options for that toolbar, tool, specific tool of your choice will change. These are variable options. So when I choose the move tool, it's a different set of uh, options. When I choose the artboard tool, it's a different set of options. If I choose the marquee tool, rectangular marquee tool, there are different options. With every single tool, there is going to be a different variable. This toolbar can also be moved from here. So you notice there's a tiny, tiny bit of a dotted line. You grab it and you can pull it out and you can place it on the screen whatever however you may wish to you may if you're working on multiple monitors you may wish to move it away to give you more working space within the Photoshop window not necessarily the best idea but um, some people like it here when you click on this you will see the same workspace is available so this is a kind of a shortcut available in the options bar okay this is a search tool. So when you click in it, it says, hey, what do you want to search within Photoshop or Lightroom photos or learn or stock, whatever it may be, okay? So this is just a search uh, option in here. When it comes to this button, the one that we see on the extreme right of the options bar, this is something about sharing. Create content to share, create a new document or open an existing document that you want to share. I will talk about this a little later. So this is the options bar. And if you wish to redock it at the top, you simply click, drag, and when you see the blue line, let go. 
and it'll dock itself at the top. On the right hand side, you have the other panels. So notice this is in an icon form. So if you click on the arrow, it opens up whatever you may have in there. So there's a history tab, there's an actions tab. These are all related to a photographic workflow. Then properties and information. So these are multiple tabs. Then a clone panel over here by itself. And then further up, there's the histogram panel, there's the navigator panel, there's the libraries panel, there's the adjustments panel. What these panels do is something that I will explain a little later. Layers, channels, and paths. So we all assume that within the photographic workflow, Adobe has considered these to be the essential tools or the primary tools that one needs to have to work within a photographic workflow. Now, these panels are expanded right now. You could simply click on the arrow and collapse them. So notice now everything has collapsed over here. So this is primarily a basic interface of Photoshop. The last thing in here that I would like to share within the interface of the Photoshop interface is notice I have applications frame options and tools so if I uncheck options the options bar disappears nothing to panic about all you have to do is go back into window and click on options and it reappears application frame uh, this may this is something different if you uncheck the application frame notice the application frame itself has disappeared and now my desktop is visible Photoshop at one point in time came exactly like this at least in the Mac world without an application frame so nothing to panic once again I can activate the application frame and go back into my workspace and simply say uh, I apologize I go back into my window go into my workspace and set it to essentials which is the default workspace or if it was the photographic workspace I could go into the workspace again click on photography and I am back to my photographic workspace the beauty of it all is that Photoshop remembers where you had left when you changed the workspace or you quit Photoshop. So it'll recall exactly that point in time. Okay, and if you move things around, not to worry, because you can always go back and into the window menu and come to workspace and you can simply say reset photography and you will be able to reset it. Once we have uh, become a little more comfortable with the interface, then in a separate video, we will talk about how to customize the workspace. Thank you very much.